Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. I have just arrived at work. A nice early start for a Monday. I start work at 6.30. <clears throat> I'm doing the morning shift today at Before School Care, and then I am going straight to the gym, and then I have a meeting after my gym class. So it's going to be a busy morning. I'm coming back to work this afternoon as well. Yes, I'm feeling very tired, but I'm sure in half an hour I'll be fine. But welcome to this vlog. I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Okay, so I am back home. I'm sitting at my desk doing uni. I have a couple of hours in the middle of the day to get some stuff done before I go back to school uh, for this afternoon until tonight. I feel a little bit flustered today just because I was out all day yesterday. I hadn't been home since Saturday afternoon, so I just didn't feel completely organized and knew exactly what I needed to do. That's okay, we're getting through today. Um, I obviously got up really early this morning, went to work and then went straight from work when I'd finished to the gym um, because I have my Pilates class. And then after Pilates, I had a meeting. Yes, it's been a pretty hectic morning, but since then I have just been ticking off a few things on my to-do list. I had a group assignment that I needed to send off like a pitch to teachers that I knew. My cousin's partner is actually a teacher and my other cousin is a teaching student. So I sent that off to them um, to, yeah, get a little bit of feedback. And now I'm about to go through and just do a little bit of work um, that I need to do for this week's subject. But yeah, work was a little bit chaotic <laughs> this morning. Um, I'm still like learning the ropes and stuff, but because I haven't really had any like introductory stuff, I kind of am just like, running around looking for people to ask questions and like figure out what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm not used to that because a lot of my jobs are very like training based and like here is the procedure that we do now do it and this is kind of like do the job and figure out how to do it so it's a little bit more stressful I think especially with all this uni stuff I'm getting there I'm really just trying to take things day by day this week because it's quite a busy week um I don't even know how it got so jam-packed but I'm working Monday Wednesday, Friday, and then I have uni all day Tuesday and Thursday. And every night this week, I have either work or a meeting or I have to go out for something. So yeah, it's just a lot, but this is life, you know? Gotta make it work. Yeah, I'm gonna get into this work, try and get everything done. It is after midday now, so I only really have another hour and a half before I have to head back to school. Um, and yeah, hopefully this afternoon goes smoothly because the afternoons are normally a little bit more chaotic. Tuesday today. Just finished up at the gym. I did um, an upper body session today because I still am injured. Can't use my lower body much, which is very, very frustrating. Yeah, I ended up having a bit of a slower morning today. I've just got uni all day, um, but I didn't really have to rush off anywhere this morning. So I spent some time just doing some mental health check-in stuff. I did some journaling, but yeah, I decided to do a little bit of checking in with myself and just journaled how I was feeling because yesterday was a pretty rough afternoon I guess at work like it was just super super stressful and yeah I don't know it just feels very chaotic there were just some situations where I was well out of my depth I feel much better for doing that and much better for coming to the gym even though I didn't want to um, and just moving my body, it honestly does make you feel so much better. And I know I've got a big uni day ahead of me, so I needed to sort out my headspace so I could tackle today. And that's what we did. But yeah, as I said, big uni day today. I've got a few classes on. Um, I have some assignment work to work on. And I also have some land tip prep I'm going to do. Um, and really try and utilize the whole day. Because when I do split shift days, I feel like I 
don't get much done in the middle of the day like after I've gone to the gym I've only got like a couple of hours till I have to go back to work I feel like it's really hard to get into the zone with like an assignment or something let's go make some breakfast get stuck into the day and make today a productive uni day okay so I'm home from the gym I've just showered got into some comfy clothes to do uni today I am gonna make some breakfast I'm gonna have some oats because it's very cold here at the moment and I thought I'd show you guys how I make my oats I've shown you guys a few times before yeah this is like my favorite go-to recipe at the moment and I'm using one of my favorite protein flavors from Botanica the custard filled cinnamon donut is so good and it's such a staple too like you can really change it into different flavors by adding different things as well um, so I would really recommend trying this if you haven't tried any of Botanica's flavors I also have a little bit left I've just restocked this because I have probably like one serving left of the lemon cheesecake this is my favorite so good definitely in my top three and I've only got a tiny bit left of the caramel. I'll show you guys how I do that. I do have a link to Botanica down below in case you do want to shop, try them out. And my discount code's always down there as well. It's just GK10 for 10% off. Most of you would probably know that Botanica has been a part of my routine and a part of my diet for four or five years now. I've repurchased stuff myself so many times and I really couldn't back their products enough. If you're looking for a new protein powder, they've got non-stim pre-workout. <laughs> I keep mine in the fridge because I normally like it cold. Got strawberry kiwi or they also have cola and you don't get that crash after, which is great. And they have like a sleepy hot chocolate drink as well. So many things. So if you're interested in checking them out, highly would recommend. This is how I make my oats. bit later in the day but I have just finished a um, practice test for my land tip prep if you're in education you know what that is but basically I've made up this folder to help me stay organized for it and just to help me prep for it um, and I thought that I would talk you guys through it quickly for any education students or anyone that's just interested to see how I'm preparing basically land tip is like a NAPLAN kind of vibe test that is for initial teachers and there's a numeracy and a literacy component and you have to pass both tests to become a teacher and to be able to do a lot of your placements and stuff like that. So yeah, you don't just have to pass uni, you've got to pass these two tests. And so I thought I would make this folder just to prep for it and show you guys what mine looks like. So this is my little title page that I just made um, myself but I've sectioned it up. So if you guys can see, I've got little dividers on the side and then I've got these little tabs on the top. So it's divided obviously into literacy and numeracy. I'm sitting my numeracy first in the middle of August. There's some sample questions here that I did um, that were just from the ACER website. And then there's the ACER practice test. So I am gonna do that a couple of times, but that's not the only thing I'm gonna do to prep. Um, but it's a really good starting point. So I did that last week um, and I passed everything, which is great. These are the answers all here and they have like worked solutions for you. So I just printed them out so I can understand concepts that I didn't get the first time. And then I'm also doing NAPLAN year nine numeracy tests um, just because it's like similar types of questions. And I thought doing the same test multiple times would be just silly. So yeah, there's a calculator test and a non-calculator test. I did the non-calculator one today and didn't do as well as I thought. A lot of the ones I got wrong, I just didn't read the question, which has always been my problem. Like even in high school, I used to sit tests and just like not read the question properly. It's a good starting point. I still have plenty of weeks to do prep. Yeah, I write down the concepts that I got wrong and I'll work on those. And my uni actually has like land tip prep sessions. So I've been doing the workshops for those and they basically just go over concepts that will probably be in the exam, but also just like topics that you may have forgotten from high school or may have struggled with. So I go through and do those and just go through all of the questions um, and work them out. And they've all got like different topics and stuff. That's what I've also been doing to prep. So I do one of those workshops every week and then I do one to two practice tests, whether that's NAPLAN, ASAR or something else. So yeah, that's kind of my folder. My literacy I'm doing in another test block um, because I have placement at the end of the year. So hoping to do that at the start of next year. But yeah, it's a similar kind of vibe 
there with the sample questions. I've got the practice tests in there and then we've also got literacy NAPLAN tests printed out for me to do. So I've printed like one of all of the tests that I want to do and then I think I'm just going to see how I go and what I need to do more of and whatnot. But um, yeah, that's kind of the prep that I'm doing. So hopefully that was helpful to some of you because I know when I started education, I was very confused and did a lot of research from um, other students and stuff to see what I was supposed to be doing and pulled together those ideas from other people. I hope that was able to help someone out. Um, but yeah, if you are doing education or have done education and have any tips or advice, feel free to let me know. I also just got a restock from Botanica. So I thought I would quickly open that with you guys as well before I jump into my classes for today. I literally just got a restock of my favorites. So I got the Botanica Brecky. This is also really good when you're on the go. It's a probiotic porridge. Um, and this is in Vanilla Dream. I've had the caramel one and the apple pie one and they are really good, but Thought I would get a new one. It's a big bag and it lasts a long time, so love that. A one kilo bag of vanilla cake batter. This is another staple that I would recommend. And then also their lemon cheesecake, which is great. Now I'm nice and stocked up for my supplements. I'm gonna get into my afternoon classes and yeah, hopefully smash through those. <laughs> Good morning guys. It is Wednesday today and it's almost midday actually. I've had such a busy morning that I haven't even had a chance to pick up my camera but I got up at five this morning and went to before school care. Went straight to my spin class at the gym um, which was really hard today and I really didn't want to go but proud of myself for going and then I had a little like uni meeting thing and since then I have just been sorting out some admin stuff. I have a lot of like adult things that just really don't want to deal with this week but we have to so I'm trying to get that done mostly today before I go back to work this afternoon but yeah this morning was a little bit better at work. Um, the kids were just a little bit nicer <laughs> and um, I think they were all excited. They were all dressed in like State of Origin stuff because State of Origin's tonight um, and they were having like some sport thing at school so I think they were a little bit excited and a little bit happier to be like out of their school uniforms um which was nice but yeah the afternoons are a bit more hectic so yes we still have to get through this afternoon but yeah I'm gonna try and get a bunch of stuff done now get some things sorted yeah, before I have to get ready for work in like two hours I am also very tired I did not sleep great last night we will get through today Liqueur. morning guys it is a Thursday I have had a little bit of a weird morning but it was supposed to be a slower <laughs> relaxing morning um, I'm just feeling very tired this week so um, I was supposed to go to a Pilates session that I'd booked for 9 a.m. but I decided not to go to that and just had a little bit of an extra half an hour 45 minute lie around in bed but had a very weird night last night and I had to deal with that this morning call police link and stuff and it just like Ugh, messed around my morning like my head is so fuzzy right now I can't concentrate on anything because yeah I just feel so airy fairy which is not good for a big uni day today I'm just getting ready to go to a doctor's appointment before I get back into uni work I'm just putting some physio cream on my neck because I have a headache the stuff is so good if you get constant headaches it's a nerve desensitizer gives me a bit of relief damn that hurts really need a physio treatment but also I kind of don't have the time for it I was reading the comments from the last vlog before this um and also some of my dms and you guys were saying you'd love to hear a bit more about healthy habits and things that keep me grounded and are really raising my vibrations at the moment I wanted to do a vlog all about kind of like looking after yourself and all those healthy habits that are making me feel my best and show up as my best so I'm going to put that all into a little bit of a vlog and I've got my first naturopath appointment tomorrow which I'm so excited for I have wanted to go to a naturopath for years and I don't really know why I haven't I just never got around to it but my sister and her partner have been going to one 
for a while so I decided to book in with her and I'm very excited to see how it goes and yeah just to start feeling better I'll talk more about that in the next vlog so I'll vlog that, that little bit tomorrow and put it in there along with my psych appointment and then try and vlog a little bit next week of my healthy habits and talk through that a little bit in case you're interested yes I'm gonna end up this vlog here thank you so much for watching it's been a bit of a busy week there's a lot going on at the moment but I'm just trying to find balance and trying to find my routine because yeah things have changed a lot in the past couple of weeks so yes I'm trying to find my feet a little bit but we'll get there I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and I will talk to you in another video very very soon bye guys